Well, check this out. Yes, we're gonna have some fun with this thing. <laughs> this is what we're looking at today. This is the Alpsbot Meet 2. It's a 4K web camera, similar to the Meet 1, but a little bit smaller with a bigger image sensor. It's so little. Like, I can't believe how small this thing is. It's got a half inch sensor, which is an upgrade from the previous version, but I kind of want to describe the body. It comes in three different colors. So I'll say they're fancy marketing terms. It's not white, it's cloud white, space gray, and Aurora green. But it's got these smooth rounded edges, but I want to say it's serious yet still kawaii. And it comes with a little magnetic stand that's adjustable, goes on your monitor, and has lots and lots of different adjustments. And the beauty of it being magnetic is I can just reach up and just kind of like move it around a little bit like I'm doing right now. And it it easily moves just because I'm kind of twisting the magnet, but it's on there tight enough that I can like, don't have to worry about it slipping off or anything like that. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Plus the f-stop is 1.8. F1.8 is gonna let in more light so that even in this dark room that I'm in right now, you know, you're gonna be able to see everything just fine. I know you're wondering, how's it gonna look with regular people lighting like daytime? I'll show you. And then I'm gonna show you the background blur, all the effects, and I'm gonna show you everything that this can do. Thanks to Hookies for sponsoring this video. Now these are OEM Windows keys. That means that you do your own tech support. You're not going to be relying on Microsoft and they're generally locked to the hardware. We got a coupon code. Click on buy now. Put in coupon code TS25. Hit apply and that price comes down. Now when you compare that to the outrageous prices from Microsoft, you'd have to buy this many, many, many times to equal the price of one regular key from Microsoft. As of right now, this Windows 10 Pro key will unlock Windows 11. We also have Windows 10 Home. Windows 11, you can buy it directly. Windows 11 Home. And we have two flavors of Office. Once you're finished, all you have to do is click on your user account up here. Go to your user center. Click on My Purchase Orders. Just View, Keys, and Codes. And you can just copy and paste your key. Hit Start. Type Activate. Click on Activation Settings. Paste it in there. Click on Next. And you will be activated. So head on over to whokeys.com to get yourself an OEM Windows key at a price that makes sense. So yeah, for game streaming, this is going to be huge. You know, like being able to get this kind of quality that you're seeing right now with a $129 webcam. Let's put it this way. So I've been using this camera for a couple of the videos that have come before this one. And I haven't really said anything. And people in the comments are like, hey, you upgraded your camera, you upgraded your camera. Little do they know that I'm using a $129 camera and I'm not using my fancy, you know, expensive SLR anymore. So yeah, okay, what are you doing there? I'm gonna get you but also the quality of the software. This is gonna work with all kinds of different platforms like Twitch and YouTube and Kick, is that still a thing? Um, you can use it with different programs like OBS and Streamlabs, vMix, Restream, whatever. And work with all those. When you first plug this in, it's just gonna work as a web camera. You don't need to install anything, but you should install the Ozbot Center. So let's take a look at that. As soon as I plugged it in, it was like, hey, you can upgrade your firmware. And so I did that. That's just upgrading the software on the camera. And it may or may not happen to you depending on when you get the camera. But if you wanna do that, you can come over here and see all your devices. You can have multiple devices hooked up to your system at the same time. You can see we have our output settings. Oh, I've actually got it running at 4K, but I'm capturing an OBS at 1080p. I'll do an actual recording right here. You can do high bit rates if your computer can handle it. Very similar to a lot of the settings that you see in OBS, as a matter of fact. And then you can even use this to stream by selecting your server up here and putting in all your information right there. And down here's our general settings, but I'm gonna close this out. Now we're gonna have some fun. So up here on the top, we have our record and then we have virtual camera. Now, when I click on virtual camera, ah, I, have to, I have to close open broadcaster, so. Just for reference, my other camera's still back there. That's the old camera, it's hiding, the, the little one's right there in front. Let's uh, switch over and just use the Meet 2. <laughs> okay, I won't do it. I'll leave you alone. So I'm gonna go through the specifications and we're gonna go through all the different settings and everything that you can do that's fun. The maximum shooting modes are 4K 30 or 1080p 60. You can also do 30 um, FPS on 1080p or whatever else you can do lower resolutions if you wanted to. We do have HDR technology. So as far as the autofocus goes, it's using phase detection autofocus, which I think is a little better in low light. So it's better than like the standard contrast based autofocus. It's always going in and out. So let's see, it's pretty dark right now. Let's go over here. Autofocus now, huh? It's pretty fast, huh? Okay, about over here. Is it trying to focus? There we go. And then, come on, auto compensation. Tone down, would you? Let's plow ahead, shall we? Oh, it's slowly, it's nicely. It's uh, gracefully toning itself down. 
All right, how about again? Focus. It's on face mode, so it's just looking for the face. Not bad. So you can do landscape mode as well as portrait mode, 9 by 16 if you want to do vertical shots for TikTok, Instagram, or whatever else you got online. And you can do upside down if you have a reason to mount it upside down. By all means, that works. Now, as far as the lens cap, let's say you want to have some privacy or you just want to be able to put it on when you're done. Well, you got this little coin that says OBS Bot on it. And just magnet uh, right there. Bye. And then I'm going to pull the magnet off. And I'm back. All right, you can also do multicam and seamlessly switch between them using either their software or you can use OBS for that. On the bottom, it has a standard quarter inch thread so you can mount it to most tripods or put it on a hot shoe or something like that and use it that way. So in their marketing material a lot, they use um, AI powered. So I guess we'll go through their software and I don't think AI is the right way to categorize it, but it's what everyone wants to hear if you're a VC or something these days, because this is just intelligent software, you know, well-made software. So. Yeah, I guess you just put AI on the front of everything to make it sell these days. All right, I'll hang out over here and we'll go through some of the stuff that we've got here. But when you first open it up, you got your console. You can turn on the auto framing, do close up or upper body. There we go, upper body, I like that. And this will just, you know, zoom in and, and follow you around, which is interesting because we've got a 4K sensor. Oh, I'm, I'm off the actual edge. If you go off the edge of the frame, then it can't follow you anymore because it's, you know, it's not on a swivel. They do have models that are more expensive than are on swivels. But, you know, if you go off the edge of the frame, because it's just following you with a, it's got a 4X crop, so we can, you know, it's a digital crop and it can follow you with that. But one thing that's cool since I'm using 1080p, 4K with digital crop looks pretty much the same because you've got enough pixels to account for it. If I don't want to do the auto framing, I can just crank it up my sail and then move it around, you know, a little bit there. Yes, go back to medium. Why am I talking like this? All right, there's that, it's cool. I'll keep auto framing on with upper body, yeah, why not? Click on image, and then we have all of our image settings here. I've got auto focus turned on with my face, auto exposure turned on with a little bit of exposure compensation. I've got it cranked up a little bit because when I put it on zero, I feel like it's a little bit too dark in this room. So I'm putting it on 0.7, which adds a little bit of gain and adds a little bit of static or noise to the to the shot. I've got my white balance on auto, and I think it looks all right. And then down here is all my image settings. If I wanted to change something, I could pull down the contrast or crank up the saturation, sharpness, whatever. Turn down the sharpness a little bit. Got the hue controls and everything. All right, here's what I want to show you. Little face. We've got bokeh. Bokeh on, bokeh off. Unfortunately, you need uh, an NVIDIA graphics card to take advantage of the advanced bokeh, which does look better than this. Like this one, if you crank it up, see it like it's not very good. It just, this is just native blur with a little bit of like, you know, smart, it uses some smart artificial intelligence to find your face. It would be nice if this also worked with AMD. My AMD graphics card that's in this machine is plenty powerful enough. And I know that, yes, NVIDIA is the company that's doing a lot of this kind of stuff, but this, you know, OpenCL should be something that works with this. But it only works with NVIDIA RTX 20 series or more, or a more powerful GPU. So I guess it doesn't work with my AMD. I don't know. Maybe it works with some super powerful AMDs. I don't know. All right, let's click on retouching. How about it? This is going to get really scary any minute now. Okay, if, if you are doing a full frame shot and you're the only person in the scene, well, you can come over here and do body settings. Make yourself slimmer. You can lie to everyone on the internet. Make yourself leggy. Le you all want to see my legs? You ain't going to see my legs. Turn your legs up, yes. So, yeah, if you want to be a liar, you can do this. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not taking off the lipstick. I'm keeping it on. <laughs> oh, God. feel like a clown right now. How do people go out like tarted up like this? No, mom, I don't want to get tarted up and go downtown. Uh, yes. All right, let's go over here and mess with the makeup. Mm-hmm. Yep, here we go. Oh. Mm. Hey, big, hey, big fella. Mm. Show some of these lips. <laughs> what, man? <laughs> you want? Yeah, let's turn it up. Hey, I saw you over there just slamming those cheap beers and I thought to myself I should come over and say hi oh god ah, I've made god and republicans angry in the same video uh, this is scary let's go to the man mode so look at my face there mm, yes man <laughs> classic mm. man mm. classic ah oh, how you doing man mm, yes so as far as this stuff goes, I feel like this is not really cheating all that much. I want to turn off the slimming, right? Turn that off. But when it comes to like smoothing and tone, so that's also controlling the tone in the room a little bit. 
I don't want to smooth my skin really that much. But one of the things that's interesting about like smaller webcams, they have smaller lenses obviously than like the big professional stuff. And the big professional stuff sometimes has just, it's got a bigger sensor, it's got a bigger lens, it can handle light in a different way. And it actually makes pictures look a little smoother just by default. So I think that the software actually is something that a lot of webcams kind of need to make you look more natural, more, look more like you actually do. But if you go crazy with it, then you can make yourself into an abomination or you can make yourself into a an internet liar that makes lots of money on Instagram and TikTok by lying to them about the size of your legs and your hips and your lips. You can do as you please, I will not judge. These are available, all these things are available right here. See, it's, it's doing some stuff to the actual tone of the scene and also making the skin look a little better. So I'm kind of okay with that because my face structure hasn't changed. I'm doing post-processing in pre-production right now. So that's kind of handy because a lot of times you'll put in some filters and stuff to like balance out the colors in your face so you don't look all splotchy or weird from the whatever direction the light's hitting you or you don't want to look too shiny. So this is actually handy to have. And then last but not least, we do have filters and we have a bunch of different filters we can go through. Sort of like the filters you get on any mobile apps that you're using to share stuff. Um, I think I like Pure. There we go. Because I, I like the sort of like, I don't know, 70s or 80s film. Look, see what film looks like. Mm hmm. Film is maybe a bit contrasty for me. So I'm going to go back to pure. I like it. Looks pretty good to me. I want you to note that this is the virtual camera. So I can record right here and record with this software, or I can bring up the virtual camera. And when you click on this, what it does is inside Open Broadcaster, I'm bringing Open Broadcaster back. Yep, right over here we are. Virtual camera. Now there's virtual camera. That's that's what I want right there. So using the virtual camera is how I'm able to use the app over here to control things and then have all those changes happen live inside of Open Broadcaster. If I'm not using the virtual camera and I just go in and select you know, the meet to uh, camera, well, then it's just gonna give me the feed from the from the camera and I'm not gonna be able to take advantage of the background blur or the effects or the, you know, the beautify stuff. I won't be able to take advantage or, you know, like it, it actually does work with the moving around. Like it does work when you're like, like that works, but a lot of the effects don't. So yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you about the microphone. So the microphone's on this. Let's switch over to that for just another second so you can hear while I'm talking about it. The microphone is 69 centimeters away from my chin. That's how far away the microphone is. So this is 27 inches away, just to give you an idea. And that, that means it's gonna pick up some of the background. It's gonna pick up some of the echo in the room and whatever, totally fine for conferences and calls and that sort of thing, in my opinion. For streaming, you might wanna switch back to a microphone or whatever, but you know, it's gonna be up to you. So anyway, I'll talk about the microphone right now because it's got built-in dual omnidirectional microphones right there in the front. You can see the two little dots and that way it'll pick you up as you're moving around in the environment. And it also has an auto gain control built into the software so you won't even have to rely on the OBS auto gain control. Right now I've got it turned on so that whenever I speak, um, it does have the automatic gain control so that when I stop speaking, it doesn't pick up all the background noise, which there is some in the room. Now, above and beyond all this, for all you streamers out there, it has open sound control. You got global hotkeys that you can configure, and this will all work together with stream decks. So if you have a stream deck, you can set up some of the functions in there. All right, we're doing a 4K capture right now, and I've got the background blur turned off, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. Now, also, it's a very dark room, so I wanted you to see what it would look like. This is kind of like what it would be if you're maybe streaming or something. All right, the blur, I'm just using the native blur effect. I'm not doing anything fancy. The focus distance starts at 10 centimeters and goes all the way to infinity. We do have HDR, and exposure compensation is plus or minus three EV, so three stops in both directions. ISO is 100 all the way up to 6400, and then the shutter speed, 1 6400, is the maximum and then 1 30th of a second is the minimum white balance is between 2000 and 10,000 k and you can adjust that or just use auto like i'm using right now and then get this i love this it's got usb-c and it comes with the usb-c to type a adapter but it's just got a usb-c cable and then a little plug for you know if in case you need usb type c to type a and get this this is usb 2 because that's actually all the bandwidth you need for a webcam doing 4k at 30 uh, fps you literally only need usb 2 which is brilliant in my opinion because now you can plug it up to any usb port my hdmi capture that i use for my fancy camera right here check this out this camera right here the one behind it guess what that's running on usb 2 as well i've got a usb 2 to hdmi back there hmm, i'm not sure which one i like better uh, this is growing on me i, I, I don't know I guess we'll figure it out when I'm editing in post. All right, so I think I've gone on quite a long time uh, about a little webcam, but you know, I'm surprised at how good 
this looks, and I'm surprised at how much fun I've been having just goofing off with it. So this is the Obsbot Meat 2, just a little bit better than the meat in just about every way. Tons of cool features, and it was extremely easy to use. Plus, when you take a look at the price, that's all going to be down in the description. I think you're going to be a little bit surprised. It's right around 100 and something dollars. So it's not extraordinarily expensive either. For the quality and the features, I expected it to be a little bit more. I actually expected it to be quite a bit more, but really, really well-priced camera. So let me know what you think of the quality. All right, we still got our sale going on. Go ahead and grab some of that stuff, actually. Just all that stuff back over there. I really I really need to get rid of them, and I really appreciate I got a bunch of orders today. I really appreciate everybody uh, ordering them. But um, I'm still doing half price with the coupon code, shortly not. Oh, let me just move that out of the way. So shortly not, we'll get you these half price. And I don't mean like, shortly not, it's going to get these, um, shortly not, we'll get you one of these t-shirts half off. And I don't mean like a midriff. I mean like half price. And we've got these down here for half price as well. So head on over to epicpants.com and I will see you in the comments. <laughs> it knows a face even if it's ugly. Mm -hmm.